Oh, look, it's a caller in Harrow called Jonathan. Hello. I'm so cold, Nick. You're cold? I'm so cold, hello. I'm sorry to hear that. Why are you cold? My boiler, it breaks down. It's the fourth time now. I've got no hot water. I've got no heater. I'm freezing. How do you wash? I have to get a little pan that I used to cook in. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and I have to use the kettle. <laughs> I have to use the kettle to fill the pan up with hot water. And you get in the pan? I get in bath. Yes. And um, I have to, I mean, this is third world conditions. I come to this country 30 plus years ago and I thought mm -hmm. it would all be excellent. Yeah. <laughs> and the, 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 the pavement now, now listen, the pavement outside my road. Oh, awful, um, I bet. It, it's actually got little holes in it. Holes in it? Holes in the little little pavement, and I'm not a racist. But? But, no, come on. But the uh, Romanian chappies, they stuff the holes full of um, Coke cans and cigarette butts because the government don't do nothing. What holes are you talking about? You know, they're called potholes. Oh, potholes, right. Want to score some pot? Holes. But the potholes are not just in the road now. Um... Oh, they're on they're the pavements on the as well. Right. It's probably oh, those uh, those Romanians. They're digging holes in order to put their Coke cans, almost certainly. No, no, I'm not, I've got nothing against I did vote Brexit because I was beguiled by the Nizel Ferrars. <laughs> I was. So you were begu uh, beguiled. <laughs> can, can, I, can I say a few quick points? No. Oh, um, all right, well, then. Well, actually... You know, because I oh, sorry, I have to. It's, it's late now. It's like yeah, one thirty. I'm not to, alcoholic. It's one thirty. Have to be very, very quiet. Go ahead. Um, half past one in morning. Um, ah, I, I genuinely, I think I'll have to be away from the country within a few months because I was in India when Rishi Sunak was um, elected, and yeah. I had such high hopes for him. You know, I thought elected. he would be okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> elected and, was he? I must have missed that. Go on. And he is, he is just doing one terrible thing after the other. Yes, that is true. It's just, I don't know. I want to firstly, if I can, apologize to you because you are one of the few, you know, Russell Brand, I know he's a little bit creepy allegedly, but he, <laughs> he, uh, listen, he, he uses the phrase the mainstream media. Nick, you are one of the few people in the mainstream media who mm -hmm. did not slander Jeremy Corbyn as being a dirty communist wizard. <laughs> <laughs> a dirty communist wizard. <laughs> right. The, the country would have been so much better without him. And I genuinely, uh, uh, my lease on this house, I don't want to, I know I don't have much time. My, my lease on this house, I'm renting. It turns out, and is lease the right word? Uh, uh, yes, contract. lease. You have a lease on the house and you're renting it. Right. In, in, what, in, what, in, in what condition are you going to be leaving it? by the way. No, I'm not an alcoholic. Not an alcoholic, is, right. Booze. No. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I will, in a few months, they, because I, I have a limited company, and I now, like a homeless man, I'll go from letting agent to letting agent, saying, please, will you let me a house? And they say, what is your income? And I say, will you take my word for it? And they say, no. <laughs> no. You know, it's no. true. Yeah. And I, I wanted a small loan. Well, not a small loan. I wanted 48,000 from a bank. 48,000? What are you going to do with 48,000 pounds? No, because I'm not a dodgy. I've got business interests. Oh, in well, you should countries. have said that. Business, should have said. Business. They won't let me into America again because, you know, like the Russell brand was uh, refused entry into Canada and Japan because he is a little bit creepy, allegedly. They won't let me into America. But <laughs> can I quickly... I'm so cold, Nick. Seriously, it's not as though I'm freezing. Can I quickly say something about how I bath before you cut me off? You want to say something about how you bath before I cut you off? Yeah, because this government, they don't do nothing to help, you know. I spent... I'm struggling so badly financially. I spent forty-eight pounds this week. Uh, well, this evening on a bag of shopping. A bag of shopping. A bag yeah. of shopping. Really, a bag of shopping costs forty-eight pounds these days. I can't believe it. Because I bought little little Starbucks. Can I say the shop name? The little Starbucks caffeinated drinks. I bought some Star liquid refreshment. Without without mentioning any brand name, Starbucks. You say, go on. Some liquid refreshment mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. some uh, big bit of uh, Polish meat. A big, a big yeah. bit of... <laughs> right, OK. Well, there's a question that immediately occurs to me, but I'm not going to say it on the air. I'll just uh, but, I'll just think about it for a while. But 
can, can I quickly say two quick points about politics and Mabar? Yes, you can, yes. Politics first, Be- please. Because on the politics, I don't want to offend you, Nick. But? But, no, come on, listen. But you... Oh, damn me. Oh, oh. But you, you lefties, <laughs> I know you love... I, I have no alcohol problem. You lefties, I know you love Kia Stama and Zobiden very much. Yes. But the creepy Zobiden, he is just... I, he is just like now. He is just so he he don't do nothing. And I know you hate Trump. You call him Dinga Ding, isn't it? You yeah. don't like him at all. Just just for the benefit of those who um, aren't uh, who are hard of hearing, when when you say Zobidan, you mean Joe Biden, the the creepy sniffer uh, sniffer in chief, uh, the, uh, the hair sniffer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's. You have to admit that even though Bill Clinton, I thought he was gorgeous, even though he's got allegations <laughs> against him. Uh, listen, <laughs> Allegedly, he was very, yes. He was, he was very good um, political figure. Yes. Because I, every night to prevent my insomnia, I'll, I'll read Tony Blair's autobiography. Oh, well, that'll do it, yeah. And he's got a big picture on the front. And, you know, apart from the fact that he um, he introduced tuition fees, actually with the father of someone I was in business in, he introduced tuition fees. He um, uh, alienated lots of people and he had a host of alleged war crimes uh, behind him. But <laughs> apart from that, he was lovely. Yeah, apart from the uh, this weird look that he's got now, the, the the sort of billionaire's haircut that he's got. All billionaires have terrible hair. Have you noticed that? Are but, you talking about Zuc- Zuckerberg? You call him creepy moonface boy. <laughs> yeah, that moonface creep who runs Facebook. Yeah, but have you, um, have you seen the videos this week of him? Uh, no, no, nor would I like to have you no, describe them lo- to he's me. He's got he's got lovely head of hair. He's got, he's looking. Ooh, he's looking uh, youthful and ref- they're really knocking to death. Sorry, he's he's looking youthful and refreshed. Refreshed. <laughs> but, <laughs> but can I quickly make a last point about my bath? If about I can? your bath, yes, please. Because I'm freezing actually, and and I know Trump would probably be more strong in the world today. But my bath, Nick, I'll come to this country with high hopes. But now I'm having to use a pan full of hot water to bath with, and I used to cook breakfast in it. Oh, so I've licked. So I've literally now got, I'm so cold, I've literally got bits of egg and bacon rind, <laughs> which when I'm, no, it's true, when I'm pouring the hot water, one pan worth from the kettle over my head, I'm literally having bacon and egg rinds washing into my back passage. Well, you, you'll always have a, a snack on hand, Jonathan. I, just just think of it like that. <laughs> and I think that that's where we've got to leave you. Uh, in, in his bath, uh, smelling of breakfast... Mm -mm. Don't blame me for anything that's happening uh, on this show. This program was like this when I got here. And on that terrible excuse, that's it.